How's it going, everyone? I'm Joey Jingola. I am the founder of Fearlessly Questioning, the first fearless questioner, as I like to say sometimes. And today we're doing a uh, huge, massive comparison between two marketing automation platforms. One a little more experienced, the other the new kid on the block. And that new kid on the block is New Raymaker. The more experienced person, well, that's HubSpot. And we're going to take them kind of head to head. This is the fourth and final um, comparison video, taking and breaking down different parts of the system and having them go head to head. If you missed the previous three, you can go ahead and click the annotations right here, or they will be linked below. But ultimately, this is uh, part of a more full, complete, massive review that exists on fearlesslyquestioning.com. So if you want to go ahead, head on over there, you can go ahead and do so as well to read the full written review and get all of these videos as well if you missed any of them. Uh, link is below in the video's description if you want to go ahead and you know, get over to the site to check out the full review. Otherwise, you can click the annotation right here. But of course, let's go ahead and hop right into it. What we're going to be doing right now is looking at and comparing the overall design and customization ability of each system. So New Raymaker is a WordPress-based system. It is a highly customized skin over WordPress and really still operates within that kind of ecosystem, if you will. HubSpot is its own proprietary system uh, and it has its own quirks and benefits, if you will, over the WordPress system. And what we're gonna do is show you how easy it is to make these changes to your site without a webmaster, without anybody kind of doing these things for you. Uh, and which site and which platform really excels in that. So we're gonna hop behind the computer here and really just walk you through, give you a side-by-side -side look where there really is uh, you know, nothing else to hide besides the fact that you're looking at these two in real time side-by-side. -side. So let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, so now we're gonna be looking at the overall design functionality. How easy is it to do all of this stuff to your website that you want to? How easy is it to turn it into this marketing automating machine and I have my opinions. I, you know, I think both platforms, you know, be it HubSpot and New Rainmaker, um, have their ups and downs, their pros and cons. And you know, New Rainmaker being, you know, a highly customized skin over WordPress, uh, it still has its um, user interface challenges. I mean, it still has, you know, that kind of it's, that feel. It's still working in that environment a little bit. And it, I, I want to say that it's going to get easier a little bit more streamlined, um, but we'll just let you see it for yourself. So to get there, we go to design and we click on appearance. And this is where you're going to make all of your changes to your site. So what we're looking at here is this home section one, that's right here. And that is going to appear in this text widget, which you can you know change the copy here uh, as you can see just a little coding around it so again if you're not familiar with any basic html coding this will already start to be a little confusing to you um, to come in here and to have to kind of code this out and to, to figure that out so that's your first section here and then if we want to drop down to the second section which is right here this call to action to subscribe to the fearless files library um, so you've got your text in information here, which is all of this stuff right here, the image, the um, and the two lines of text. And then below that, um, oh, and then your form is also included there. If you watch the form video, which we did earlier, uh, that's your form right here. And then below that, you have the quote here from Mr. Chris Brogan that shows right here in the second text box below the form. And, and then this is, again, I had my buddy Dustin Stout set this up for me. So again, I don't even know exactly what all of these sections are. Again, because I just didn't feel like taking the time to learn it, I thought, you know, I might as well hire somebody to just do this a lot faster for me. Um, so in this, oh, I guess this is what it is. So this is the featured image. So this is this whole subscribe. Um, uh, this is this whole subscribe to the podcast. So if you're looking to subscribe to the show, the fearlessly questioning uh, show, you can do so here. And this is this is how you how it's kind of put out in this uh, Genesis featured page kind of widget, if you will. And it's all configured to look exactly like this. And that's how you would go ahead and do that. 
Um, this is apparently just an empty text box. And then we've got our social icons here to connect with me in any way that you would prefer. That's again, another widget that you just add and customize. But again, it's a little more involved than I think some people want it or need it to be. And I think that's the challenge New Rainmaker is going to face is how do they respond to that? So in our, in our home section three here, this is where um, you're going to see all of our recent posts. And it's all, again, a lot of different options that look a little confusing. I'm not going to go through them all because honestly, we don't have that kind of time. But, um, you know, once it's set up and working, you know, it's good to go. I mean, you can come in here and try and play with it and learn if that's your thing. But obviously, um, you know, a lot of this stuff, you're going to want to have somebody set it up initially and then, um, you know, kind of tweak it from there. But this is this section. It's the third section here. And, uh, and that's it. So we've got all a bunch of empty um, content areas below that. But this is where you need to go to make these, these, uh, these changes and do all of these sorts of color styling and uh, all that fun stuff. Not as easy as drag and drop as you're going to see with HubSpot, but it gets the job done. It gives you a lot of power and flexibility without relying too much on a web design person. So there's that. Let's go ahead, hop over to HubSpot now. All right, so now we're inside of HubSpot here, and actually we're just on our my insurance agency's website, and you can see all these orange little buttons, and this is what's going to give you the option to move these things around and to do all these edits. And it's you know again looking where we just came at from new rainmaker um, going to be a little bit easier in my opinion so if you want to move this you just click move and we want it to go let's say here instead we just do that and it's going to reload and you're going to have that image now um, appearing over in this section and it's that simple uh, it's going to take a little bit to load but there you go so obviously it's not sized right but you just want and let's say you want to move it so it's going to fit within the sidebar you've got that option. Uh, I want to go ahead and move it back. Now this is a call to action. And again, I'll show you how easy it is to add a CTA. All right, so if we want to add a module, we go ahead and just click add module. And this is modules are just basically different areas to put stuff down. So if we want to just add content, we click content. If we want to add a form, we click form. If we want to add a little HTML box or JavaScript, we go ahead and click that. Um, but if we want to add a CTA or something like that, we just hit content and it's going to pop up and here's our box that we just added right here. So if we want to, add, we've got our title that we can change. Obviously if we're writing a CTA, we don't need it, but you can obviously tell for yourself what you can do and how you'd want to set this up. But if we want to you know, do something like that CTA that's right above it, you just delete your title, which it's going to make it go away. And then we edit this text here. You can delete your text and it's got a nice little CTA box here button that you click. And um, if you want to add your CTA, it's going to pull up your list of CTAs here. And uh, let's go ahead and just grab this one. We'll insert this one and you save it. And bam, there you go. CTA, it's linked to your landing page because you already created it. If you watch that CTA video, you can go ahead and click that uh, to see the comparison there between HubSpot and New Rainmaker. And it's going to take you to your landing page. So you click on it, take you to your landing, landing page. It's going to have all the stats attached to it. And here's your HubSpot landing page. So it's that simple to drag and drop CTAs. And you know that's going to work just the same for blog posts as well. That same CTA button is going to be in the blog post publishing tool. And you're just going to drop your CTA in at the bottom of every blog post. And that's all you have to do. So if you want to, again, we just want to remove this. It's that easy. Just go ahead and click remove and it's gone. That's obviously an old CTA that I had used and the module is deleted and you can go ahead and move any one of these things around. If you want to add one of these lists of featured posts, no problem. You just, you know, you, you, um, all you have to do is again, add the module, you know, as you just, you add the module here and you click on the blog and you can click latest post, most popular post articles by month. And it's going to populate those lists for you. And again, they're just going to show up. So pretty, for, pretty straightforward, pretty simple. And even if we go to the home page here, you can see that you have the same uh, flexibility uh, to move all of this stuff around, uh, all these different areas. You can uh, quickly view page properties of the page, your meta description, all right from here. So it is very straightforward, seamless, and simple. I think New Rainmaker has a little bit ways to go to kind of 
duplicate this functionality within a WordPress environment. And that's why definitely giving the edge over HubSpot right now. But again, either system is going to go a long way to making this very simple to use. The only downside to HubSpot here is that you are going to have to have this site designed for you by a HubSpot um, certified design team. So it's going to limit your options and you're going to have to have that pretty much done for you. There aren't any templates per se. So you're going to want to have your site either migrated over or you know completely rebuilt uh, when you do hop on board with HubSpot. So they will migrate it for a small fee and they will do a fantastic job as this site was migrated but we're currently in the process of blowing it up and redesigning a new one but they were fabulous in migrating this site over and making sure everything worked the way that we needed it to work and look the way that we needed it to look uh, so that is it a quick comparison on how to kind of edit uh, these design and customize these sites through hubspot and new rainmaker all right so there you have it just a quick walkthrough of how you can go ahead and design customize edit and change all of these things within the website itself uh, basically your overview of how you can or if you need to fire your web designer or I guess not even your web designer your webmaster if you think you can handle those duties yourself and just handle all those uh, little updates from time to time if those platforms give you that functionality so pretty quick and straightforward breakdown of course remember this video is the final video in a four-part series looking at different elements of HubSpot versus new Rainmaker in the two platforms of course this is also entirely part of a huge written review that exists over on fearlesslyquestioning.com. So if you want all of that information in one spot and want to go through everything, I've got a link below in the description for you to go ahead and check that out. If not, if you're ready to roll on either one of these platforms or both and try a free 30 day free trial with either one, I uh, included links for that as well, because um, no sense in you taking my word for it. You might as well go ahead and take your own for it and see which one works better for you because a quick five minute video is not going to sell you one way or the other. Give you an idea of which one might look more interesting, but you know, definitely try it out for yourself. So that's it. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Appreciate you taking the time to watch. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Be happy to answer or get somebody from the new Rainmaker or HubSpot team to answer them if I don't know. But again, appreciate the time sticking with me here. Take it easy, everyone.